Faith is the belief in things that you cannot see. That's the key. You have to believe in something that you can't see. You have to believe when you can't, when you don't see no way how. You have to buckle down and keep believing. God is always coming. Here's the deal. The moment you ask God for something, he boxes it up and he ships it to you. Here's the problem with the package. He never gives you the date that is going to arrive. It's going to come. He just don't tell you when. If he told you when, it would destroy the relationship that's required to have an abundant life, which is faith. If God told you you were going to be rich in August of 2021, do you know how crazy you would talk to people from now until then? Because you know on August 21, I'm going to be rich. You're so close to quitting in the soil stage that you're about to walk away from your hope and miss your harvest because you can't see it in the ground. And that's where faith comes in because I can, I can plow in the season of sowing and I can reap in the season of reaping. But what do I do while the seed is in the soil? He wants you to stay in faith to receive the package because he only delivers to Faith Street. If you step off over here to I Don't See How Boulevard, he don't ship there. If you get over here to I Don't See How Circle, he does not ship there. He only sends the boxes to Faith Street. So when he sends it and you'd have moved off Faith Street, the package got to go back. It's just like UPS or the post office. If they send you a box and you ain't home, they take it back. That's how it works, man. Let me tell y'all something. Being successful is not a magic trick. You just have to learn the principles of success. I ain't got no degree. I got nothing like that to tell you about. I didn't finish school. I flunked out of school. I'm on my third marriage. Lost everything I've owned twice. Been homeless, lived in the car. I am telling you, your education ain't got nothing to do with it. Education ain't in the Bible. Emory is not in the Bible. It ain't in there. Harvard ain't in the Bible. Look, find it. In a, show me education in the Bible. No, man, it's your dreams and visions. A man without a dream or vision shall perish. That's what the Bible is built on. It's what God puts in your imagination for you to have. Everything God wants you to have, he puts it in your imagination. Albert Einstein said imagination is everything. It's the preview to life's coming attractions. Everything you imagine is God showing you a preview of a coming attraction he has for you. And he puts it in your imagination so you can see what he got for you. So if you've been imagining that you're going to be rich one day, it's because God wants you to be rich. Now, when you going to ask him for it and are you going to wait for it to happen? Or are you going to lose faith? Here what Christians mess up at. Well, I guess it wasn't the Lord's will. Who are you? How do you know what God's will is? It all happens at an appointed time. But you have to stay in faith for the appointed time to happen for you. I've been wanting to be on TV since I was 10 years old. You know how old I was before I got on TV? 38. 38, 28 years after I wrote it on the paper. I won't be on TV. It took me 28 years to get on TV. But it happened at an appointed time. I just never gave up the faith. I kept going because I didn't know how to quit. Because I know if I quit, it cannot happen. But if you stay with it, you have no idea what can happen for you. You got to stay with it. There's somebody having it way harder than you, and they didn't give up. Get yourself together. God got a great life for you. I'm telling you, God got a plan for you that's so out of sight, it would trip you out. All you got to do is ask him for it and wait on it and be willing to work. Faith without works is dead. That's all you got to do. You don't need no education. I flunked out of school. Look at me. Mark Zuckerberg and Bill Gates don't have a degree between the two of them. But they, didn't have, they got more degrees working for them than a thermometer. You know how many people I got working for me that got degrees? Everybody I hire got a degree. Because I know I ain't that smart. But I got money for you. You smart, here go, how much you want? You told me I want $150,000 a year, here you go. Man, this deep paid me $150,000 a year. Bruh, you got what I don't have. I'm, you gonna take
take that 150 and help me get this billion. I got 154 billion. How God give me this and he won't give it to you? I ain't a better Christian than you. Look at me, I'm up here cussing, I made mistakes. That's the type of Christian I am. You a better Christian than me? You should, you should have something to show for. But God don't ask you for your perfection. He asks you for your consistency. There's none perfect, no not one.